My name is Loriel Beltran, originally from Caracas, Venezuela. I'm a visual artist based in Miami. I used to make traditional paintings, but I would never clean up the mixing palette, so the colors started to accumulate there. And at some point I realized I was making paintings just to get paint on this palette. I was more interested in this idea of paint growing. And I also liked that it became this sort of register for every painting that I had made was in this palette. So this palette became really important. Like it, it held all of my work in this thing. These paintings, it takes very long time to make. I work them in groups because they take months to complete. In the past, they used to take, you know, sometimes years. Now that I figure out the process, they, you know, it's, it's months. If I do it too thick, it just, it won't dry well. It, it just breaks up. Uh, so it is layer by layer. I have to let this dry for a few days. And then I just repeat that process for a long time. That's why I date them so that I know when I started them. I need that register to go back to and, and you know, remember, oh, this was this many ounces, and this many layers per color. Depending on where you stand, depending on how you approach them, depending on where you see them, they, they very much change. And they, it's almost like they create themselves in front of you. To me, it's interesting to create something that is a direct, you know, experience rather than a mediated experience. I do keep that sort of tension sometimes with like the addition of some of these interruptions and something that wants to become a form or something that wants to become, but it doesn't really actually get there. There's never anything specific or defined. This started from essentially a waste object, a six bag ring, and these started from plastic bags. Sometimes they start from just pieces of dry paint. You know, they generate a lot of other interesting things when they go into the painting. I like that this exists in this sort of like undefined space of, you know, perception and experience. And they have this sort of like performative aspect to them, you know, in the making and also in the viewing where, you know, my, my paintings need to be experienced in person, right? Like there's no other way because they don't really conform to one viewing. Once the mold is completely full or the sequence is finished, I remove all the sides and the bottom, and then it moves onto the machine. A guillotine on a rail that gets pulled by a hoist. I like the translation from three-dimensional space to two-dimensional space. Very simple line and color sequences that create something that's, you know, more than the sum of its parts. And I, I think that's what art should do, you know, it's something that should be more than the sum of its parts and it, it transforms into something else. So even though this is just very simple line and color, it really translates into all these other possibilities.